What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another full self-driving beta video. My name is Chris. We are on version 10.69.1.1 and we are heading into downtown Ann Arbor here and I'm starting off with this kind of difficult to see uh, left turn. So we're gonna see how the system does downtown here. This version has been pretty good. I have not tested it in uh, downtown yet though and that's kind of my harder test. So we're creeping out here, which I think is a little awkward, but whatever, who cares? So we're moving into downtown and she's waving us ahead. Whoa, and the car went, what the heck? Um, I'm not gonna say, <laughs> that was weird. Uh, I'm not gonna say that was exactly the right move and I definitely don't think the car saw her hand or anything, but wow, that was almost too good. Um, so speed bump here, we go pretty decent speed over that and continuing being cautious around these pedestrians and moving forward. So. I'm hoping downtown is going to have a lot to throw at it. School is back in session. We're on the campus of the University of Michigan. So lots of vehicles driving around and students and things to look out for. Um, so some notes with this one. Phantom braking has been pretty much gone again so far, which is awesome. Uh, the wide release of 10.69.2 is not here yet. It was supposed to be here on September 5th. Although Tesla was able to increase the price of full self-driving to 15,000, like they said they were going to with that uh, wider wide release, meaning to the 100,000 current beta testers. Um, so that's that's kind of funny that they did that. But anyway, we're gonna head downtown here. And apologies if I sound a little off or have some weird. Um, nice job moving through this. Uh, pauses or or things. I'm still not 100% better from being sick. Still feeling a little strange. Uh, weird lane change there. Uh, you know the kids get the sniffles for one day and I get destroyed for a week uh, so yeah and you know my kids man they are so hungry it's unbelievable I don't know if you've heard I got two babies and they need to eat so this video is sponsored by Omaze. Omaze launched with a mission of transforming typical charity giving people the chance to dream big and win one in a lifetime prizes while also helping nonprofits make the world a better place. And you can enter for your chance to win one of these prizes with my link below. The winner of Omaze's latest sweepstakes will drive off in the most desired electric SUV in the world, a brand new Tesla Model X Plaid. With over 300 miles of range on a single charge, 1,020 horsepower, seating up to seven and Falcon Wing doors being eco-friendly, never felt or looked so good. There's also a 17 inch infotainment screen up front and an eight inch screen for rear passengers. The future of clean technology is here and taxes and shipping are included for U.S. winners. And by entering for your chance to win, your donation supports Reverb, a nonprofit which has been leading the green music movement since 2004 by partnering with artists and venues to reduce their environmental footprints. Working with artist partners like Billie Eilish, Maroon 5, Pink, and many more, Reverb has greened over 350 tours and 6,000 concert events, eliminating over 280,000 tons of CO2. So enter for your chance to win with my link and support a great nonprofit in the process. Thank you to Omaze for sponsoring this video. All right, so heading into this right turn on green, shouldn't be a problem, we can sail right through here. Car is doing a beautiful job of that. And boom, we move through and very nice. So this next part uh, shouldn't be too bad and then it's gonna get pretty crazy with some construction and lots of pedestrians and things coming up. Hmm, weird. So I accidentally disengaged there. It was asking for me to put my hand on the wheel. My hand was on the wheel. And so I pulled a little harder and accidentally disengaged there. So I don't know if you want to call that a disengagement or not. The car wasn't doing anything bad. Uh, just an accident on my, on my part. All right, let's check out this left turn. Still in the comments, you guys are uh, disagreeing with me and each other. I think we should move into the far right lane here, not the middle lane. And hey, it did it the correct way this time, maybe because we had a lead car. Although I think we've had a lead car in the past and done it incorrectly. So that was nice and done correctly. And then changing lanes to follow route there. So I'll put in our next destination. All right, so 0.3 miles to go. The car already wants to move over and make a lane change here. There's somebody there, but they give us space and the car moves over very nice. Little hesitant at the beginning there, uh, but handled really well, very smooth. And that person decides to go around us. Uh, I've been getting some comments about the car hanging out in the left lane. So, you know, again, I'm letting the car, uh, as long as safety is not an issue, do its thing and still stopping for this stop sign. So that is, is at this point, to be honest, pretty embarrassing. <laughs> so I didn't have to intervene there, but I did press the camera. Um, there was a long time there where it wasn't doing that and then it started doing it again. 
Um, so the car does, in a situation like this road, seem to, I don't know if it likes to hang out in the left lane or it's just because a lot of times we'll have a left turn coming up. Uh, in this area, it doesn't seem people follow that rule as much. Like on the highway, of course, do not be in the left lane unless you're passing. But off highway, I don't know, it doesn't seem people care that much about that. So I do prefer to stay at the right if we're uh, not passing people. But like I said, letting the car do its thing. So I, I don't know, the car is taking different routes on the same destination. So last video, it was not this route. The video before that, it was this route. I don't know how it's deciding or why it's deciding to take different routes. It could be due to my internet connectivity kind of going in and out on the car. Still don't know why that's happening or what to do about it. Um, but either way, whatever. If the car gets us there A to B safely, that's really all I care about. So lots of parked cars on the street here, not, not uh, messing us up. And then coming up to a right turn at this stop sign, and we should be all right. Now the car's gonna make a complete stop, unlike the person in front of us did, at the stop line, legally like it's supposed to. Then it will creep up, see if it's safe, which it is, and it will move directly through. Very smooth, very nice. So this set of stop signs here, so we had that one, and we got two more here, it tends to be very congested. Uh, but lately, I mean, the car has been doing a beautiful job. Now, maybe I shouldn't say that because <laughs> then it'll mess up, but uh, hopefully not. I, I, I'm hoping we're getting past the frequent mess ups and just having um, some weirdness here and there going forward, but you never know. So complete stop and moving forward cautiously, pedestrians next to us, but handled really well. All right, so rolling up to our complete stop. I believe that blue car got there before us, but they wave us ahead. I'm not doing anything. And then kind of awkward. Yeah, kind of awkward. So they were there before us. I really think they should have just proceeded, but they waved me ahead, which you'll see a lot. Really, it's it's his turn to go. He has the right of way, but he waved me ahead. So it's like, you know, those awkward situations. Car still handled it well there though. Um, now moving through really tight here. Again, this has been good for a while. Moving over, giving the cyclists room, pretty much stopping. I'm, I'm fine with that. Getting out of the way of that car, very nice. And then, nice, awesome. That that felt pretty good. Okay, I didn't like the stopping, but eh, pretty pretty congested, not a big deal. Safe, that's the main thing. Very nice, handled very well. I didn't need to do anything there. So we have a four-way stop. And again, I'm pretty sure the guy to the left was here before us, but we're just gonna see what they do. Now they're waiting for pedestrians, so we can move forward, and we do. Beautiful, beautiful, loving it so far. And again, Feels very good, very smooth. Um, no hard braking or, or hard accelerating or, or anything like that yet. So again, cyclist, we're kind of stopping. This is good, I mean, this is probably what I would do. Uh, this car's sticking out a little bit. We'll just wait for these guys to go by. And kind of preemptively, again, starting to move as, as that space becomes available and moving up. So this is really good. Again, I do want to mention a lot of people talk about me comparing what I would do to what the car would do. It's just for a point of reference. It's not to say I'm right and the car is wrong or vice versa. Wow, real close to that guy. So the car hit the brake pretty hard there. I'm gonna report it. I feel like they turned close into us. We weren't really moving at that point. Um, they just came real close through that turn. So uh, glad I didn't need to take over. The car did hit the brake pretty hard there. Um, but wow, yeah, they came real close. So what are these weird graphics? Are those just a bunch of garbage cans? <laughs> it's just thinks there's more than there are. And then moving up, wow, a lot of ha happening in this uh, first part here, which this is why I picked this route. Um, a lot happening, a lot to do. Now creeping out, we can go after this Mustang or Corvette, whatever that is. And bam, pff, perfect. I mean, again, like awesome. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you guys. It's getting good. I might need to find some more challenging areas, but this is one of the busiest areas that's kind of within a reasonable distance to me. So we got the open door with the person like getting into the truck. That looks so, I couldn't really look at it, but I, I caught a glimpse of it. That looks so funny. I love seeing stuff like that. So we got a green light, a little awkward here. It seems the car is not even caring, yeah, about that car to the right. I don't know why it's getting so close. It's like, it's gonna pass them. All right, I'm gonna hit the brake. Yeah, we get honked at. I don't blame him. I, again, I think if I would've left it, you know, the car would have um, stopped for them because they started moving, but it was almost like it thought the car was parked there. Let me tag it just in case. Um, but yeah, definitely disengagement there. It was confused by the guy kind of sitting in the intersection. Now, this is the right turn we used to take. And again, the car seems to 
be picking different routes here and there. So it didn't even try to go down there, but it has missed that right turn before uh, and we'll continue. So, so far on the drive, we have one disengagement, uh, which I would call it a safety disengagement, not an emergency or anything, but uh, not very polite. All right, so we have some construction equipment to the right here. We give it just a little bit of space. Perfect, awesome, really good. So it's not a standard object. It's not just like a normal car parked there, but the car is still able to kind of detect whatever it is and, and avoid it nicely. They're just getting dropped off. I was like, why is this guy parking in the street? Uh, we got the green. We're, we're definitely braking for this pedestrian because the car is not sure if she's going to walk in front of us. And then it continues. So yeah, the car, I'm going to tag that one because the car still gets confused. It, it's such a tough call because we have a green light. We should be going. That doesn't, at the same time, that doesn't stop somebody from walking in front of your car. So the Tesla is going to be extra cautious there. Would I have done that? Definitely not. But maybe it would have been a different situation where it would have turned into some emergency. So it, it's tough. It's, it's tough to know um, what's exactly, you know, the right move there for the car to do. Definitely should err on the side of caution. All right, this is our destination. Let me put in the next one. So then we get here. Wow. That was the first time it's done that. Wow. Okay. That was really nice. So before the car would turn right into the, the far right lane, which I think is technically like the legal right way to do it. And then it would do this kind of awkward, like, oh, I got to change lanes. I got to change lanes to get over here, which again, I think technically awkward is, is like the right legal thing to do. But what any person would do is just kind of flow over there as long as it's open. And the car handled that the best I've ever seen in this scenario here before. So that was very nice. So we got this red and we stopped way behind the stop line due to all these pedestrians. And I actually love it. I, you know, a robo taxi should be like, I keep saying air on the side of caution being nowhere near those people. There's no reason to be at the stop line when you clearly can't go. Uh, so I really like seeing that. Now these people have the right of way. They have their crosswalk. The car waits again, far back here. And when they're far out of the way, now we will continue. Beautiful. Again, smooth, really nice. Really liked it. So this is going to be crazy busy and it's why I pick it. <laughs> it's why I picked this spot. Um, actually, oh, I kind of want to try to change this really quick. Um, let's see, we're at a stoplight. I think I can do it. All right. So we got the green moving through really nice. Actually moves away from the, yeah, I was kind of, it's going to do something with those pedestrians. It's either going to go real slow or try to get away from them. So, um, again, fine with that now. Parallel Parker here, I think if I, I didn't have this kind of guard car, or whatever you want to call it, I think the Tesla would be all over the place trying to get around it. Just my guess. Maybe I'm totally wrong. Um, I would have given them a tiny bit more room, but obviously all is well. So, oh, we got we got a, a break there for that guy. So he's, he's waving us along. Yeah, pretty appropriate. I, I think the reaction time was a tiny bit late. Um, I obviously saw him coming into the road and I from what I saw, it seemed his intention was to get to his car. Um, and the Tesla reacted. I did not look at the display at all. So I don't know what it was showing there. I, I assume it showed him in red. Um, but still, it, w it wasn't past him. If he had walked in front of us, the car totally would have stopped in time. So I would have liked to see that reaction a little sooner, but, but not terrible. Um, now we have a blinking red. Hmm. So that's treated. Oh, well, we have the stop sign right there. So normally, of course, this is just a normal intersection. The car has to treat it as a stop sign. And with all these people, it's going to take a while, I think, but let's see how it does. So we are moving up. Okay. I mean, that's, that's great. I mean, right as we start to have some room here, keep going. Wow. It's very tight. Lots of cars everywhere. Big acceleration. I think to get out of there, it wants to get out of that tough situation. That's my guess. Um, okay. I mean, handled really well. I was kind of nervous there that we were going to get, start getting honked at the car was going to take too long, but I, I don't think that could have been done any better. Um, so yep. Confused by these people. They're waving at us. Uh, they came kind of right at the car. Again, it's one of those things. If you're an aggressive city driver, you definitely could have just gone and, you know, went in front of those people, but the car's going to be extra cautious. So waiting for this next pedestrian and then it's going to start to go, but we have more people and it's going to wait for them. That's kind of what my thought was. It's lots of pedestrians. So this will be tough for kind of robo taxi self-driving cars, especially when people know that the car is going to stop for them 
Uh, <laughs> this guy's pointing at me. Um, especially when the car, uh, know, or people know the car's gonna stop for them, they're, they're gonna take advantage of that. Um, so yeah, we're at our destination here. So, oh, it's gonna turn us into that alley, like maybe to park or something. Very cool. All right, uh, this video is getting real long. So let me just throw in this last one and give you my thoughts here. So really good. We had the one disengage, oh, sorry, I got a cough, hold on. Okay, so really good. We had the one disengagement which I think was pretty big disengagement. I, I don't know, it's hard to say. We weren't gonna run into the guy, but we were definitely being really rude and getting in his way. Other than that, I did not press the accelerator. We cannot turn left here, so I'm not gonna let it. It, it wants to turn left here, so I'm just gonna stop it um, and go straight. It's a, it's a closed road. Um, other than that, we, we had no interventions, no other disengagements. I guess you can count this if you want. I just don't want it to turn onto that closed road. Um, and everything, I think the entire time was incredibly smooth. I can't even go here because there's so many people. All right, let's do it. Let's go. We got a guy in front of us. I just want to get out of here. Ooh, lots of people. That's that's kind of the point. So we got this person. I'll let her cross the street. Let this reroute. Um, but I am very impressed. I'm having a good time. We're going to do some A-B testing in the next video. So pick a destination, go to a grocery store, whatever. Let the car do its thing. Not kind of play around in downtown so much. But uh, yeah. This is great. This is great. I'm having a good time. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. It's getting a lot better. Robo Taxi level four. I think we're still far from that, but that's a whole nother story. So hope you enjoyed this one. I will talk to you down in the comments and you will see me and full self-driving beta in the next video. All right, that was ridiculous. I had to leave all that in there. All right, see you in the next video.